definitely be favoring Team Liquid, right? I just think at this highest level of play, Overpass is a map that if you default as you should, you should be getting yourself uh, quite a bag of rounds here, especially against a team that is from, uh, let's say, a smaller region. Yeah, not in size, that's for sure. Oh, actually, my geography, Asia versus America. Um, now, Mongolia, well, if we did all of Asia, yeah. it's bloody huge. They win, right? And if you want to have a conversation, we could probably include like India, Pakistan, and all of that debate. So, yeah, yeah I, I think I think Asia wins. Yeah, and score might win if Annihilation gets one. Bait them in. It's not the frag, the smoke, though. They might disrespect that. Might bait score into a successful fight. And yeah, not clearing. Not clearing. Can he build a round out of this? No button checks. Does he deny the plant? Takes a pot shot, takes down one. And an important one at that. That was the bomb. Good restraint, good frag out of score. And Annihilation set them all up for success. Not only a frag, but setting them up with the bait. So long, find score. A one on one. A hard one. The Kinder can find him as well. Doesn't really want to give him the jewel down. Blitz quick to it. And Elise with one back. A two versus four goes two on three. And it's getting a bit sketchy. With Elise hitting every shot he takes. Oh. That is glorious. <laughs> an ace in the pistol. Giving it an Ellie giggle. That is cruel. We've had two of those today. JKS picked up an ace on Anubis against Big on the pistol round. Now Elise doing it here to IHC, and that one is going to shatter them to the core. It looks so good. Score opening up, dropping the bomb. Kills coming their way. A couple of tidy ones out of Blitz here, but Elise just dismantles them. Frag after frag. That's one for the highlight reel. Yeah, John Wick, sit down. The oh. new John in town. Bit of a force buy here from IHC. Annihilation onto the scout, pistol upgrades for the rest, and attack for Annihilation. So that's not a bad way to open up the account here, and he knows there's a bit of blood in the water. Yakinda has to stay behind the rock. He'll do that for a full minute. Oh, actually, get flashed in for a fight. He's using the Danger Zone MP5. A little bit of variation. It's a classic. It's not usually used at range, however. Look no, at it. It matches his guns, though. Oh, sorry, his hand. Wet, wet, gloves. That's the G word I was looking for. Gloves. His gun matching his gun would have made less sense. And scores done the same. Everyone's really oh. Sorry, Blitz. Yeah. Coordinated. Well, some coordination of these scout shots. Two have been hit. This is actually looking very good now for IHC. You know, you discussed exactly that over on Inferno. We might actually see it manifest here. Especially with these smokes in play as well. Things are gonna start to get awkward for Liquid with about 45 seconds left on the clock. He's active on long as well. And it's both of the tagged up players. They haven't relocated, so it's a favorable fight now for Annihilation. They've got three bodies here. It's a good round here for IHC. Another re-smoke. Yep, you're in trouble, Liquid. Yeah, they are. Off that ace in the pistol. Nitro's the one this time to step up with a double. Straight into the toilet area. Now Annihilation between the wickets and all of that potency in the bin. Okay, that's a big sweep up there from Liquid. Good stuff from Nitro. I think the impact round he had from Newbox where he got mollied out and had that massive quad kill, it was the triple from that position. I think that won them the map. Yeah. And do, you know, do you know what he said? Mm -hmm. He said, it felt like I had God mode on. <laughs> of course he did. Is that how his accent... Yeah, that's, no, that's pretty good American no, accent. Well, it was a bit more kind of Californian uh, uh, than the Nitro. Isn't he from the South? Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't... I feel like I'd be more Oh, you were more Californian. Yeah, I was okay. more Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair yeah. enough. We like Nitro. We do. It's Nick Canella. And you know what's Lovely interesting? Lad. Like a good testament to what he brings is just how short his adventure away from Counter-Strike was. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, he left. He left. And immediately they were they were begging for him to come back. He was just looking for some family time. Yeah. Didn't have to go to him too much travel during the Valorante expedition. But all five staying alive went from an Elias Ace to a clean anti-economical that had a few little booby traps. My favorite kind of trap. That spam through the wall as well also helped out for Nitro to identify the second through the divider push. So you got a single flashbang. What do you got for us, Blitz? How do you find something valuable out of a single $200 grenade? He's got four or rather three teammates with him. You know, I think the pistol from Liquid was the same pistol that Fnatic ran the other day. 
I mean, they would be a team to study if you wanted to uh, refine your protocols. Yeah, because it had that front sight, like dice. Ah, touche. And then it was up long on the dice box smoke. Thank you for jumping in there. I had some popcorn stuck in my throat. Oh. My pleasure. I still have some popcorn stuck in my throat. Yeah, but I have Ooh, a frag. That is two from Techno. Not too shabby. Not going to be translating into anything more substantial, but it is certainly going to be keeping some of the members of Liquid honest. Heaven smoked. Elige to plant. If this is like the match we did the other day, Fnatic versus MIBR. Mm. Do you th I mean, is, is, that a, is that a possibility? Very high likelihood. Okay. In terms of scoreline and, and pace? Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, so let's prepare for that. Everybody at home, get on the social media right now. Please. Send your tweets in, at Machine, at Sponge. Is it still Machine GG? Uh, machine GG. Okay, sorry. At Machine GG. Uh, at Sponge, S-P-U-N-J. Let us know what's going on. Let us know how you're watching the Counter-Strike. Let us know if you're watching both streams, one stream. What's your favorite result of the day? I have got 10 interesting facts about Mongolia that will surprise you. Okay, you know what's cool about this? The, the major for Paris, the RMR for the Asian region is actually going to be in the capital city of Mongolia. Oh, which we all know what that is. So let's say it together oh, uh, in one, Uban, two, three, uh, Bakar something, no. Capital city, Mongolia. Uh, obviously it's uh, Ulaanbaatar. Ulaanbaatar. Oh, the tip of my tongue, damn it. You were close. Yeah, no. I think I actually just said uh, <laughs> Bartik's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see with this first gun round because this will be very telling here. And we know that MIBR lost a couple of rounds by the skin of their teeth. It was the finest of details. A few missed flashes here, there, and everywhere. But Elise, 7 0. Oh. How many more can he get? Annihilation's AWP trained in at the ready here. But I would be surprised not to see a divider molly with this. Oh, they're going for the snake play and Annihilation. That was quick. They were trying to circumvent, right? So you see this from Apex a lot on a map like Overpass. So what you're doing is you're parthing. You're kind of just weaving around like some of these more deeper sight lines and hoping to catch some timings here so you can explode quicker on towards A. They weren't doing the default spread of U-Tool. They've actually thrown that out after Elysia's death. You can see it. They're dotted up on the radar. And they will get the space that they were looking for. And I like this. Inquisitive push coming through Connector. So taking a risk here is score. And he might even catch Naf off guard who's backpedaling to join the rest of the pack. Yeah, it looks good for score. If he does round this corner at this pace, he might catch a glimpse of Naf just on the fountain. Yep. In his sights. Motor mouth, letting him know. Don't overstep. Oh, he didn't. I, I told a lie. I thought he did. I thought he saw a little slither of Naf's back. They can rotate back all the way. Now, there's still time to do this back through connector. They do have two smokes available. Make it three. Heaven essential here. Maybe bridge or mid site. Well, there's the heaven smoke. A barrel's molly. Actually going to cut off rotations here as OC. Techno trying to be defensive. 25 seconds. Lots to do for Techno. Heart quickening in pace. 140 beats per minute. But a frag onto Naf and damage onto your kinder. Artak. Good. Put the bomb on the floor with 12 seconds left. It's going to lead to a little bit of a chaos. Nine. Your kinder for a safe plant. Does enable Blitz to get across. Nitro flashed off, trying to provide support. You're kind of trapped on the site for now. And AWP with the Overwatch of Heaven, you do kind of get boxed in. And that's the duel you need to win, Blitz. Half a magazine left. Annihilation to provide the support. You're kind of still trapped on the site. Still 10 bullets. He needs a headshot and can't provide it. Nitro and your kind of for the fourth. And yeah, clean as you like as they do find three. Your kind of a triple kill. And Liquid up to four. And these are the situations after the default where a team like Liquid should just have the class, right? And that was fantastic work off of each other there. Not overstepping, understanding the situation and putting IHC into a very difficult position. But that was the quick shot of Annihilation. It was tidy. But now, as soon as he finds Score, who you can see wasn't expecting him to turn around and catch him off guard like that, the round really does start to fall apart. Bit of a jump scare there for Elish. I don't think he was expecting it to be that quick. So we got an eco. Every eco will do a fun fact. Does this count? Yeah, this is an eco. Okay. Well, my favorite one is, is that there are almost as many people as horses in Mongolia. Okay, that's interesting. I watched. I was watching something on the Netflix. I don't think we talked about that many. Okay, hold up. 3.2 million people and horses. Damn, that's a lot of legs. 
There may be some legs to this deagle. Nope. Yep. Gets it, gets out. Blitz has to do something here because the rotation for everyone else is ooh, too far away. Now that he's spotted, pinned and taken down. So good orping from OC. He gets two within the round. The leash. Oh, had the sight for a moment's time. Yeah, that's going to change the plan. Uh, they're all gathered, having a meeting. And decide Techno is not that intimidating. I'd nope. be scared. He was sharp on Inferno. Yeah, he was. He's got a very quick time to react. Pushing forward here as well. Looking for the fight. Kevlar 2. Not so useful against the AWP of OC, but maybe in a labor duel against your kinder here. Has just scooped up the bomb. Oh, he's got the bomb on the floor. Okay, Liquid really need that back. And OC finds him through the divider. Nav's already calling the A site clear. The rotate is on its way. Bartak. OC has to plant in the site. He oh good smoke. Defensive smoke. Yeah. Won't be able to. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's Knock him off the bomb! He's Whoa! won it! IHC take it! Techno starts it, but score will finish. With Ooh. Bartak on the bomb as well, just making sure the round is theirs, knocks him straight off. Okay. Good round from IEHC. That was a very, very light investment, and they walk away with the round, a couple of AKs, and some confidence. Sure, they'll find themselves at a tech timeout as we can all screw our heads back on straight. But that was a very, very well put together piece there, and some tidy shooting, which seems to be the consistent force here. By HC and it's Techno, yeah, he's sitting on a bit of a heater here today. Looks like uh, everything is getting sorted out over there on the IHC side, as I can see the buy is coming through. Just waiting for the dot ready. See here, no one's mouth moving during the technical timeouts. There is no conversation allowed, no typing. No thinking. Well, you can think. You just can't communicate oh. those thoughts until Elon Musk gets that chip in your head. Yeah, and they can't police those yet. It's the land where dinosaurs once roamed, apparently. I mean, isn't aren't the there whole a lot, world a lot of places? What a terrible fact. Well, hold on. In the 1920s, fossilized dinosaur remains were found in the Gobi Desert along with the first dinosaur eggs. Some of them still lie exposed today. Yeah, no, that's pretty meek, actually, yeah. But it, it, interesting nonetheless. A quarter of the population live as nomads. Wow. We don't have many nomads left in the uh, in the world. No, I wouldn't imagine so. No. I think they're big on hawks as well, or eagles. There's some type of bird that they're pretty big on in Mongolia. That's for sure. They um, do some hunting with it. Yeah, eagle hunting. The Golden Eagle Festival is held over two days every year. Oh, that's on your fun fact list. It is. Okay, interesting. A parade of eagle hunters on horseback. That does sound nice. I'm going to take a bit of a glance over at what's going on on the A stream. I can't hear Harry and Hugo right now, so that means it can't be that interesting because normally... Oh, here we go. That's right. I thought we were back underway, but no, the map pool is uh, identical. Uh, so here you go. Mouse versus OG. Mouse picking over pass. They're getting off to a pretty decent start. This is a curious game. I think on uh, paper, it's really hard to make a call on which way this one's going to slide because you... we haven't seen Mouse play this year. Right, yeah. Did you have like um, OG as, a, as your favorite purely because you've seen them play? Or? No, I think I went with Mouse. Um, I, I think it would be silly of me to continue to write them off after the performance they had at the Major yeah. and Cologne. Uh, I, I think, you know, Torji, if he can find some really good form like he did at the early stages of last year, that's the catalyst for Mouse to be a bit more consistent. Mm. Right, Frozen, we know what we're getting. Exertion, he, he doesn't mess around. I think Dexter had some massive moments of the Major as an in-game leader fragging. Three body shots into that smoke to win the round. Well, yep, if you, we are back in business. As are IHC as they posted their round on their compromised buy. Ooh, a failed extinguish there. Not ideal for a liege. Well, let's see if they can double up here. Getting it done with the pistols and being a little bit scary is something, and so is that fight, OC. Chipped on down, spammed through the wall is Bartek on his retreat. But a gun round would be great here. We'll get the game back on your screens ASAP. There you go. 
We just wanted you to look at liquid. Just in case you forgot what they looked like. Passive just... towards A. Yeah, combing through the map. I think uh, the Bartak fight he took so early on has got them a little sketched out that, oh, IHC are comfortable to go for Ooh. some aggression, a boost. Your kinder's been lingering in the underpass, and Blitz has, Blitz has managed to catch him. I like that. So a bit more of a mid-round boost. You tend to see that more at the start of the rounds to catch players slinking in towards the water position within the early stages of the rounds here, but using it for some info and finding a frag. Feels like Liquid with about 40 seconds left. I mentioned, you know, it'd be the same type of timings as what we saw in that Fnatic MIBR game. It was the same situation. They were executing with about 20 seconds left. I think Liquid are in the same situation here. Yeah, it's a bit of a sketchy one at 30 seconds, though. We will see that smoke thrown out. A response from Annihilation. Trying to channel and funnel. Skull can use it as well to hide behind. It's very well placed and very well timed. Ooh, tagged him. They'll have heard that. Staring at him or not, as he does strike into one. Elish needs to make a space. And ooh, with OC's connection, the plant may be not impossible after all. Liquid with just enough time, just enough help, and just enough help from Naf. A double kill. I won't necessarily say it secured it, but a leap in that direction. Techno, no slouch. Two to find and already softened up. A smoke would be perfect here to try and draw them out into the open, but he's going to have to go and tap the bomb and hope they peek and give up their position here. This is a hard clutch for Techno. Not going to be easy. It was the AWP. He's going to be given any duel for free. Yeah, he accepts. This one's just not realistic. He'd rather bring the AWP through. Hooks up his brother Annihilation. He's only got 50 bucks in his back pocket after Alicia's that round. trying to cut him off here, Alex. Already at the sandbag oh, position. Techno might get caught up. God, on the reload. Alicia just spotted him now. The no-scope not going to land. And... Oh, Techno will hold on to the AWP. We'll take down Alicia. We'll make sure to try and avoid that in the future for everybody playing at home. But we'll do our best to bring you all the up-to-date information. But uh, the AWP was retained. So that will be given to... The primary orp up. Techno hit the nose scope. Trust me. I wouldn't fib. Liquid are going to take a timeout here. And interesting enough, they do have a decent lead to kick this off. I'm sure Daps just wants to have a couple of words here. I'll give you a couple of words. Okay. Wow, well, you've set yourself up here. Five. One. Great, okay. Uh, so IHC, right, uh, how infrequently they play this map, they have literally... Literally? I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm not using it like... Loosely. Anyway, I'm using it quite literally. Ah. Played uh, the last three overpass outings against the same team. Lin Vision. Lin Vision. We know Lin Vision. I think I worked with her at home base. Oh, come on now. <laughs> We, hey, Lynn. we know Lin Vision, oh, West Melon, Starry, West Wex Pro. West Melon? It's a B-Rush. It's a B-Rush. Techno. Oh, ships in the night. Nav just jumped past him as well. Three people. And now he emerges oh. into nothing. Nav has ruined his fun. Unlucko. That one's going to sting. There's an opportunity for another round there. IHC once more with the save. Felt like they were at least position, but the pace change. That's why Team Liquid took the time out. Yeah, changing it up, charging in. And I think as soon as you've done that once as well, IHC probably not going to be as confident going for any particularly aggressive maneuvers and going to have to respect Team Liquid's capacity for a speedy one. Trying to hold on to what he's got here. Uh, Naf, come on now. Those aren't too far off. Spam shots through the wall. I think Hosi assumed they were miles off. Yeah, well. He will go down the... Oh, ought to be retained once more. We're saving it for another day, sure. But you will need to start posting a couple. And I think the score on the other day was about 11-1 between MIBR and Fnatic. That was on the T side for Fnatic. It ended up at about an 11-4 half. Uh, if Liquid are able to get themselves double digits on the T side, I can confidently say that the, the game is over. Right, comebacks are possible, but I don't think with a score like that, like that on a map like Overpass, it is. Yeah, we we've, we actually, you know, already touched on some of the factors that, that that play into that. Let me see if I can remember them. It's one of the biggest maps. It's one of the hardest to play. Yes, on the T side in particular. I think Yanko said last night, like he was saying, like draw like a imaginary line 
from like short. He was mm. saying like short all the way along here, and then the rest of of this area of the map, let's like, shrink it by. I think he said by about like thirty percent or something. Yeah. So I know not everybody can see our imaginary line, but yeah, I think like from like like this. Yeah. He was okay. saying, and then shrink all of this by about thirty percent, just in order to to make the protocols required. Yeah, because the the biggest smaller. issue is if you take all the territory as a T across the map, the CTs, and I know right now it is a T sided game, but this is because of the caliber of liquid on the map. But wow, um, we'll come back score. to this. Yeah, we'll we'll return to this little thought. Gore wants to play on the swings. The liege caught out completely. No trade available. Your kinder's hungry for it. There another smoke and his exit's locked in. Not anymore as OC meets Annihilation's AWP and perfect. That's some CT aggression rewarded. Annihilation a double. Score with the first onto a liege and that spells trouble. Yeah, this is more like it. That's a great maneuver right there. You see Liquid not ready for it whatsoever. You needed the shots to back it up. So good stuff for Annihilation and score in combination. Try and keep as many alive as possible now if you want to make something, a conversation about this CT half. You can't be losing too many bodies throughout all of this. Nitro will find the orb. This could be a 50 second save. Yeah, this is a 50 second save. Okay. It's the right call. Well, I'm, go I'm going into the Twitter sphere. Okay, see if anybody took us up on the offer. Um, ooh. Ooh. I haven't read it, but I think it looks safe, so I'm going to go for it. Wait, so you're not going to proofread it? Well, it's a fun fact about Mongolia. Okay, here we go. Mongolia is the easiest country to identify on GeoGuessr, as it has been... Proofread it. Oh, I'm proofreading it. Oh, okay. Because the uh, car that was used to take the photos... Mm. The Google Map car, I imagine, uh, has a blue tarp on it, so oh. you can immediately just look straight down and see. Here. Okay, well that's cheating. Yeah, well that's kind of all of the GeoGuessr flexes that I see on the internet. They just they've got all they've the got hacks. shortcuts. Yeah, they go like, oh, yeah, this white line is dashed. It's only this country. Oh, okay. This sign is blue. That's only in this country. That's kind of lame. But I mean, it's part of the fun, you know. I guess. You know, you're learning how to jiggle peek and throw different, you know, running. Jump pro smokes. He's learning about the blue tarp in Mongolia. I guess you know it's good to know a bit more about geography. Yeah, I needed Heku to get added to the town team to know the difference between the Balkans and the Baltics. So, <laughs> God bless her. Thanks, Heku. She's doing a community service. I think she's been paid by the government to head out and really take <laughs> charge of that. But uh, second time out from Liquid here. A little bit strapped for cash on a couple of the memberunis. OC did get that AWP from the 50-second save. A liege onto a Tech-9. Nitro with a Galil and AKs for the other two. But this could be the beginning of something here for IHC. Win this one. An eco from Liquid. Scoreline quickly becomes 6-4 to four in Liquid's favor. Next gun round rolls around. They convert that one. Another partial buy from Liquid. We're 6-6. Six, six. Aggression again, Annihilation long this time, score at least showing his presence over towards party. Annihilation will get a chance to find a pick against a liege. This is an interesting head-to-head, -head. your Kinder and Blitz. The best of the bunches. Blitz, ooh, he's been baited out this EU jiggle. Too good, still gets the bows as Nitro cannot trade perfection. From Blitz in the underpass, Techno tagged up on the wall bang, OC trying to Poke his nose into the sight and a chance goes awry. OC down. Blitz. All of the frags. And maybe a fourth. Nope. Ask too much of that. Score goes down. It's a liege on the Tech 9 and so Annihilation's got his exit. He has to go all the way around the world to join NAF. Uh, I think a little bit earlier in the piece though, NAF had actually softened up Techno to 14 points of health here. So the B bomb site is actually pretty susceptible. You can see Techno now slinking back into a very passive setup. Bartak's going to keep his head down towards Barrel. And Bartak's really the key here. Yeah, this is the fight. He can't let this one go. And then no slouch. America's finest. Gunning for you. Oh, and flash doesn't help either. Bartak's let it go. Techno down. And this felt like a round with a double opening from Blitz. Now falls to Annihilation. Certainly no... Slouch in the clutch. Has a smoke. And everyone's looking at Heaven's side. He's covered some good ground here. Naf's going to be checking it 
on the ring around a rosy. Spotted, Spotted oh. and deleted. <laughs> Damn, sharp as ever. Seven already, and as you discussed, heading towards those double digits rapidly. That was a 2v5. Blitz got three kills there from that connecting position. Dealt with the two individuals very early of Nitro and Yakinda. Then able to take down OC in the back as he was trying to find a pick over towards B. And they still drop the round here. Here it is again in the highlight. So Blitz, fantastic. We know he can be sharp. Silence them for up close and personal. Then Liege in the back with the Tech-9 at range. The second is fantastic. And this one here, uh, waiting for the flash. It cost Bartak. And that one's going to feel real good for Liquid. It's going to feel real good for Liege. Ben and his squad out of insurmountable odds with just the Tech-9 to start. Now the slink is on. Yeah, this is this, uh, I think, Nat out here did a video talking about this. I think he called it like snake, but you can see here with the parving. So they're just trying to circumvent the standard positions that are held here, and then they'll just be able to explode. Oh, score. Yeah, she hand handles it well. Takes down your kinder. Trapping Annihilation with oh, Molotov. Like that. that is cheeky. Could do nothing with that. Oh, Blitz burnt to a crisp OC. Combined with a flash of Nitro, got full access to the site. Annihilation remains a hidden element, but could be deep cleared, and Lee's just knows what he's up to. Great find. He took his hand off the mouse and keyboard right there after that kill. Yeah. He knows. The round is his. The damage is done. The work. Oh, oh, come on, lads. Okay, mate. You're getting a bit silly with it now. <laughs> and we'll throw C with the leap of faith. He's feeling himself, isn't he? Wanted to try and make good on what Elise started just there with the wall bank. But yeah. It's going to feel helpless now for IHC. Precisely. And I think this is, a, we've, we've, we've been there before, but. Just the other day. Yeah. When, <laughs> <laughs> when the first map, your pick, was so. So close, a 9-1 start that did fall through your fingers, admittedly, Liquid, uh, you know, playing a large part in that, but IHC at times unable to close, and yeah, now it feels like it's all too little too late as you find yourselves backed into a corner, quite literally in the case of Blitz. Poor guy couldn't escape from Molotov. And a beaming smile from Elige. Nice to see the man happy. Of course, it comes with a price, IHC, misery inbound. Annihilation goes for clear. You got your kinder working short. He's on his own little adventure, and yeah, on the jiggle of that pillar. What's our Bartak? Nitro reporting nothing pushed up towards the under. Hanging around, though, is Annihilation. Some would say overstaying he's welcome here, but really only that of a liege to contend with. So has a bit of freedom to waltz around, and the orb should ring true. Nice shot onto Nitro. Yeah, that's a good start. Opening kill. We have to see a conversion of these, though. Liege versus score. One by score. Again, we see two favorable openings. IHC just need to close. Bartak will as well. At least Yakinda's eyes now closed. Might just be another liquid save here. I, I know, once again, that's not the most glamorous style of Counter-Strike. We'll see, but it's a chance for them to... Oh, my God. What's up? Chad, uh, close your eyes. Look away. Yep. Oh, qu quick quiz. How many opening jewels do you think Liquid have got? Uh, Ten I, rounds. I don't know. Maybe three? Four? Two. Okay. With IHC, with two CT rounds, have had one, two, three... Six, seven, eight. That makes sense. Yeah, of course, maths. Yeah, yeah I'm there now. I realized, but still counted them. Just, no, just, no, just it's checking. good to check. We had checking. a HR TV with the scorebot yesterday when we were doing the MIBR game. Said that Breno had six multi kills when he only had six kills. So yeah. it's quite truly impossible for that to be the case. Thank you. So it's good that you checked. Just doing my due diligence. But that is um, an, an, an absurd comparison. But this is the thing, right? It, the, this is the same thing that happened at MIBR against Fnatic. They had a couple of good exchanges. They were in like 4v3 situations, and then they would just lose sight. So we've seen that happen already a couple of times in this game here today. It's difficult to hold on, and once Liquid get themselves into the site, life becomes extremely difficult. Again, Dap's using another timeout. I know you said that they were praising him before for his diligence on it, so I, I try to add as many rounds as possible on this T-hole to try and make the CT side even easier. 
Now, to note, IHC have won one round with the Deagles where Techno had a couple of big kills, picked up an AK, found a second. Then you have the round where Skull went aggressive playground, found a frag, and Annihilation got two with the AWP. Then you have this one just here where Annihilation got the opening AWP pick down into Connector. Skull got the upper bathroom pick. Bartak found the kill on towards B, and they find themselves the third round. That was pretty impressive. That was, I, I, honestly, I was really impressed. I think that's why they pay me. Yeah, because we were talking about openings, and I couldn't visualize a single one. <laughs> here we go. Actually, the score player ground pushed is... Uh, now, now you've, now you've bell, said it. Doesn't yeah, it? now you've yeah. said it. It does ring a bell. Nitro looking to ring a dinner bell or two. That's what the timeout was about. Daps is going KBBQ or KFC. I don't think there is a KBBQ here in Katowice. There's a gap in the market. Well, that's it. All right, Chad, once we hang this up... <laughs> We're going to go and open a Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, you know, uh, who's our Korean Funding friend? by Carmack. Yeah, we'll get Smix to come and help us All out. All right. Hey, Sue. <laughs> we needed some advice. We don't know what we're doing. No. But we like a good bulgogi. I do. And a toki boki or whatever the rice cake's called. All right. Well, there's a monster jiggle and a wiggle as Kinder slips across. And this is looking like a B finish. Makes sense. B has seemed quite susceptible of liquid trade efficiently here on towards the site. We're a bit more of a difficult retake for that of Annihilation and Scorp. I like Techno tucking in tight. And Bartak not cowering behind the barrels this time. The setup's been established, but it's about to be tested. And good for the first. A commitment of sorts. Oh, the Elysian Naf, though, were into action. And Blitz, the last man on the site, trying to fight tooth and nail. Eats his own flashbang. They have to go B. They have to go B with the time on left on the clock. So just standing, looking to bang with seven... Bullets left, Blitz with the reposition. He's doing so much for the team, buying time. Now Nitro gets the frag. Oh. Still though, with a frag from both, it all falls to Naf. And he's gone to make it for IH. Yeah, that's probably one of their best rounds so far on this CT side. Blitz right there delaying. Yeah, look, it felt helpless, but he was just buying time for that rotation to come on in. The Molly held the bonds to play. Jiggling around the pillar. The rotation comes in and some big shots hit. That is good from IHC here. I know it's feeling a little bit late within the half with the scoreline already sitting at eight to four, but that has bottomed out Liquid's economy. They're going to have to take the economical here. An eight, seven, a salvaged half for IHC. We can start having a conversation about this being a competitive affair, but it can't be four, it can't be five. I think double digits on the T side will be too much for Liquid. And we had admiration as well for IHC's resilience. When losing, you know, that Mirage game, for example, up against Furious, still managing to come in and remain strong. They have to find a strong start, or rather strong close, to this defensive half. Definitely not losing any silly deaths to these Glocks. Scorp, just happy to duel. No armor, no problem. Treads through Team Liquid here. Yeah, you take these every day of the week, wouldn't you? Just have to worry about this connector player coming up of your kinder. Score with the reposition. Should be feeling pretty safe, and he has rotations coming in there. Well... Perfect. Final bullets onto Naf, and well, one more for the ace here. Give it to him, you kinder. Yeah, let him take something home, and there it is. Fantastic shot from Scorp. That will be the fifth, and that will be one of the easiest rounds they will play for the remainder of this half here. And that's what that fantastic round bought them. A little bit of a berth, five on the CT side. Still, that hate round haul, as discussed, is already quite disgusting. And there's been a few unfortunate rounds in the mix where IHC had those advantages that we discussed that they should have closed, right? So if they now go on a run to close out the half eight to seven, sure, in Liquid's favor, you could say, well, what could have been? And then we get to see what they have to offer on the T side of play here. The thing is the theory that they're putting together, their understanding of a lot of these situations seems pretty good. Like the macro seems, it's just some of the micro decisions when they get pressured where they've kind of fumbled and tripped over their own shoelaces. Yeah, it's tough to see teams with so much, uh, you know, raw potential flustered, but it's also a very natural product of the game. Yeah, the thing is, it's not only that they have good aim, it's also the setups and positions that right. they're putting themselves in. Like that previous round where they were trading out on B, they were running a bit more of like a Cloud9 classic setup, and hey, Ooh. surprise you, Kinder. <laughs> Can't jiggle around that corner. That's a nice punishment, and another opening. Good grief. 3-0 and score, 3-1 and one, Annihilation. Nitro, though, will claw us back. They're coming through Monster Tunnel. 
It's up to Techno to at least... Ooh, no. Bad timing on that one. Bartak sold down the river as Naf will take them both down into the site. They go. What are you supposed to do about this one? Score will have a look. The smoke is up and Naf is running straight through. <laughs> To his own demise, it could perhaps have ramifications. That's unlikely. Unless Score is feeling frisky. Kit on Annihilation. He'll move to Score. It's another! Oh! Okay, game on. Starting to cook now. IHC in pursuit of a sixth. Against the odds. Against the numbers game. It's just a liege now to shatter their hopes and dreams. And Score will close. Oh! Out. Standing, a 10 second defuse. Oh, he needs the kit. Oh. He needs the kit. Get back on it, son. Uh, no! oh. Look how much money he has. No. I don't want to. He has. Uh, <laughs> Just, yeah. Well, the first thing he bought there was Kevlar and a kit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, quite truly, the first. Oh, uh, what a brilliant 2v4. It hurts, doesn't it? They've had some really, really... And we're only feeling, really a, we're feeling a fraction of what they're feeling. They've had some great moments. Oh, They've bloody hell. They've had some great hell. moments. Look what it did. Oof. Looks like a B fast play here. A bit of wood short quite swiftly, so they want to take this territory. Yeah, Liquid have found something that's a bit more preferential than their A plays. Just continue to smash your head against this B bomb site, and it's the right call. There's only two players here. Techno and Bartak can be... Having nightmares about this B site. Here they come again. You can hear those wooden footsteps trundling towards you, and the Akinda snaps onto the Bartak head. Nitro's got full short water locked down, a power position he's adopted here. You got, you got kits now. You, can you throw a 3v4 into the mix? Maybe that power position has been rumbled. Flash up. Hoping to distract, maybe Score can push that Heaven Smoke with the distraction in play. OC though relieves the pressure, takes down Blitz. Score spotted, fragged up, oh, bagged up. 1v1, Annihilation the wall bank, converted on the Deeg. Smoke on the bomb, has the kit. Surely he's a dead man. He's a dead man. Now fly, sprays him down and 10 secured. Oh, what could have been. Oh, what could have been. And that's what IHC are gonna have to be rattling around in their brains for this two minute break. Every round that didn't quite manifest. 10-5 half. We'll be right back. OG. And again, contact. They've just been loving it. Wow. Oh, lovely opener. Lovely way to get it. The B site rests on Exertion's shoulders. And only one kill from the man. Torshi might be here quickly, but with everyone else already gone, he's saving. The weirdness is, is there's actually only two players in B. Yeah. As he leaves, he's going to somewhere just as dangerous as the place that he's departing from. Neo frags ready to remove the AWP, but Torshi doesn't want to part ways with it. No scope lands, and so that AWP will be kept into the following round. Regardless, OG, they are impressing me with their ability to remain competitive in this. Yeah. Trading rounds back and forth. Although if that keeps up, that's still good for Maus. They're still going to close this out. That's where you've really got to start capitalizing eventually, right? You want to start streaking something together if you're OG. 
I'm just shocked at how basic these rounds have been, but how effective they've been, right? Like, they've just been going not only contact, but that round is one flashbang. That's really all it is. They they nail JDC on barrel as they walk all the way through Monster, and then they just explode. Double entry, fl the Flames and Dexter take down the CT player. They trade onto Exertion. Like, there's not really much to it there for OG, but it's beautiful. Yeah, I, so you know, we, you, you even talked about it coming into that round there, and I really feel like this is this is Nexa realizing that Maus aren't actually fighting anywhere early. That's all he started to learn here, right? Over towards A, they've gone for these creeps up through mid as five. That round, it's just a contact play out through Monster. And it's because Maus are trying to kind of have their cake and eat it too, right? They haven't been hyper-involved in the early rounds. It's been passive on both sides of the map. Finally, there's a bit of a change to that in this round here and now. And so this is where OG could get burned by this grouped five-man gameplay because Maus have already taken short away. And so what that means is they know that no one was leaning B early. That frees up a third player to start to reinforce this A side of the map where OG are creeping in again. Yeah, Torshi won't miss this twice, but he's just lost the timing. It's the paranoia of these contact plays. They're coming back to bite him. His teammate contact, they don't know, but they're running right by him in the toilet. Someone will surely check this. You'd like to think, is it gonna be flames? Team Liquid, a map up and already 10 rounds to the good in our second. Overpass continues now with the side swapped IHC to take to that all too infamously difficult T side. They have to bring the attack to Team Liquid and should they concede, should Liquid find 16, they will be sent to that lower bracket to play Cloud9. You fail to Na'Vi in their opening affair. It's all best of threes around here, but a 2-0 sent Cloud9 there and it could very well be the same in this affair. Yeah, and it would be exciting to see a Team Liquid versus Na'Vi matchup. Want the best of what we had from Liquid today for sure. That's a lot of bodies. Uh, OC has to just take what he can, oh. and he can take two. Tag it up another pair of bodies, Annihilation and Score. Felt like he was going to get a couple more there, didn't it? Quite a score from Score as well. Jesus Christ, 19. He's at the top of the server scoreboard. Yeah, he's been having some good showings. Nuke being a bit of a beast here on Overpass, doing the same. Ali is trying to chip away at range. Oh, Nitro joining the fun here as well. Well, Blitz is not laughing at Nitro. Just a quick bullet to his face. Yakinda's on a quick fountain flank, and they are accelerating at this point. Towards that toilet fight. Elise They're ready. Will be left. And, oh, that's the end of Annihilation. Right. Might be the end of the round. Scores the one to claw it back. Oh, you just looked away. The bomb's going to have disappeared upon his next glass. Heard it. Oh, spots them. Knows where they both are, and their options now surely a wide open B site. They got two choices. Deal with score together, or NAF head over towards B and stop this plan. It looks like they're going to try and take score out of the equation first and will. So now Blitz. The, yeah, this is look. Ooh, ooh, okay, Blitz. Look at this, Yakinda. He faked the steps away. Oh, perfect, flawless. Uh, the bait, the switch, the naff headshot. He gets two. Hey, someone to too polite or after you? No, after you. I guess. What's it, what what does he got want? Two kills. So with the defuse, he's going to get more money, which means that. It was going to be easier for him to, to buy the rifle, a couple more goodies around. Uh, I, maybe they wanted to give him some extra cash. Uh, it's also going to depend on which M4. We've seen a lot of silenced M4s so today. I haven't been hearing a lot of my favorite M4A4. That is true. Right? Where has it been? That is true. It's a lot of silenced M4s in play. I might even check the stat lines right now. This game will not be updated as far as the stats are concerned. But uh, M4A4, just under 10%. And the A1, about 14%. So, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So, Naf had a lot of... Okay, so he dropped an M4. There you, wait, did he drop an M4? Did Naf... Well, did you buy a Famus? Surely you didn't buy a Famus. 4,000 bucks have disappeared. He bought a Famus. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. It's a Doom Kitty. It's a nice Famus. But I guess maybe to help spread some util. I don't know. Either way. Oh, he's going to have a lot on his plate. One and done. A liege the same. Bides and Yakinda reveals the M4, holds fast on lock. Big open jewel and a scuffed spray. Score caught from behind and it's less liquid constantly. 
poking and prodding at this IHC bear. They've been very naughty with the pushes they've had here in the type of fights they're looking for now. And Bartak, this would be a great time for the sub to step up and pick up a clutch. There's been so many close but no cigar rounds here and he's walking into the den. That's wow. the first. He's very low, however. Yeah, he used seven of the eight bullets he had left into that duel. Well played. If he gets the bomb down, IHC will be very happy with that regardless of the outcome. But if he doesn't plant and Naf just shoots him in the back, it'll be very troublesome. But the bomb planted. He's condemned, however. Naf is oh, all of this, and now they know. Yeah, the kid's right next to the bomb as well, so it's not going to be difficult for Naf to scoop that up. He even found himself two flashbangs, so it's up to him how he wants to play this. And he'll find the frag with ease. An M4, a kit, and a round. The full package. Yeah, nothing else Bartak could really do there. Right? You think, oh, he could run all the way around, but he doesn't know if the bomb's being defused. Naf could have just called the bluff right there. Naf knows that he has to peek. And if he wasn't swinging that angle, it was likely he was going to come through bathroom. So just trying to eliminate some of the options there. OC almost with this double up. So some good impact for OC in the last two rounds. Pistol and then the follow up on the force bite. But another plant means another force from IHC. And this time a few more AKs in the mix. But still light in that util department. Annihilation is saving a bit of cash in case he gets an opportunity to bring out the AWP. Oh. Um. Yeah, well that... They don't really want to burn their smoke. Their only smoke. Right. Yeah, touche. Just looks like everybody has ants in their pants, doesn't it? It does. Like fire ants. OC. Spots out Techno and is a little wounded for his troubles. Getting hunted now. Techno down. Good find from Mr. OC. Oh, knows there's a push coming in. Not ready for the second, but Blitz was. Keeps the trades favoring this T side. Yakinda active. Forward. Sprays and oof. One and done. We're left into the two on two. Now, the established lurk of score is just perfectly activating as Nitro evacuates. And Nitro only has an MP9 here as well. So if Score gets rooted deep into the site, Nitro's going to have to hope he finds a rifle elsewhere. They do have a kit. They've got a molly. They've got a smoke. And they have Naf as part of the retake package. And he's the man you want alive in these situations traditionally. But look how aggressive Score's playing this. A great amount of kills for him. 22 in total so far. And I think a few more might be coming his way. The bomb about to get punched on in as we've just dropped below the 30-second mark. So throw 40 more back on the clock. And I think Liquid have realized wrong place, wrong time. And Score's even hearing the footsteps of two players. So I thought he was hearing two players. He's definitely heard one. He wouldn't have repositioned, I don't think, if he was only worried about one here. Yeah, so. I think so. Pressure now. Perfect timing on the fight. Score. We'll take the round. By virtue of the frag onto Nitro, leaves us with a sixth for IHC. Okay, well handled there. It means Annihilation will be able to get out his AWP. And that lurk, you pointed out very astutely. Uh, just the space there meant an awful lot to get them into their sixth round of play. Good stuff. Yeah, you need more of that. It does humble Liquid, which I guess is testament to the, the, the way in which this started. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay. Right, it's been so. very close in all of these rounds so far, right? Not too many players surviving on either side of the server. So with that in mind, yeah, it means that Liquid are going to shove because of the loss bonus that's better for them to go for this buy than some weird double eco type territory. Yeah, and now if actually gets his right M4 this time. Must be nice. See what he can do with it. Nothing initially probing long this time. Already you've seen OC there on the pistol round. And this time, Yakinda towards this bathroom setup. You can see Techno and Blitz. Oh, they should run him down now. Yakinda, dead man walking. We'll see two. Oh, and no one can finish off Yakinda. Elise lucky to get away with that as well. Back was turned. Liquid season opening with no rebuttal. Elige looking to tuck into this corner. Deadly weapon for the job as well. If he can find the head, not easy to do. Annihilation. Does avenge Techno, albeit a bit late. 
Could be good for an A execute here with the nades they have. Bank smoke, drop down smoke, truck molly, maybe a dice molly as well. But you've got to get past OC, who is playing quite forward here. And Naps even rotated in as well for good measure. So tough setup to break if you don't have the first around the corner given it a glance. And oh, OC oh, brings the fight to them. Annihilation was caught out. Bar tackle trade. Do they expect another? No, they don't. As the score meets Nafs M4 and a double out of the Canadian sensation. Okay, we'll straight back into winning ways here. Short lived resurgence for IHC. One of the keys in the previous rounds for them was getting the bomb down so they could keep the purchases flowing. Face says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, look, they, they obviously. They don't feel like the most emotional bunch of guys. They're getting fired up in certain scenarios as well. But I think that some of that mental residue from how Inferno went, and now you can see on Overpass as well, there were a lot of opportunities for them to win more rounds in that first half of play. It's going to stick with you. And look, you, you want to say, yeah, just forget about it. Let's focus on the next round, sure. But when you're so close as an underdog team and you're trying to break out into international Counter-Strike, it, it can be a huge difference here, but they should be very happy about the showing of Counter-Strike they've had thus far. And they're not eliminated just yet. They'll get another crack at... Okay, OC. <laughs> I'm talking about IHC and OC just stripping away kill after kill. Is he going to get the five? There's been a couple of aces today. Yeah. Maybe Annihilation will give him a shot. That's the only one you'll get, OC. Surely the rest of Liquid are just going to... Yeah, let him out. There it is. OC with the ace. Mows them down with the mini orb. So today, Score had an ace, Elise had an ace, JKS had an ace, OC had an ace. Those are the only the ones that I can uh, and remember. I'm sure there was more. Impressive, and especially considering I think we've had tournaments where we've gone days upon days without one. Some, some sharp. Oh, Roy had an ace. Yep. Oh, good memory. Yep. Vertigo. What do you reckon the ace tally is? So, uh, Zershan had an ace. Simple had an ace today as well. We've had three aces in one map. Jeez Louise, that must be a bit of a statistical anomaly. <laughs> Map's not done. Could be a few more. Let's see. Strap in. Oof, score does catch a rough blow. Raz has a rough go of it as a nade will finish the job. Your kinder, all of that without seeing his opponent. The combination, the one-two punch, the wombo combo. Wall bang into the nade. Score down, of course, the highest flyer for IHC. And now Blitz brings the bomb on a silver platter for a liege. What do you do, Annihilation? Do you just wait? You probably have to. See if anyone else can hunt him down. Bartak loses out on the duel. Annihilation did opt to leap prior to Techno's arrival. Things petering out for IHC. <laughs> not the end. Not the end for them. There's three people around the corner. That's wild. Yeah, I just had a look at the planes as well. So in the planes, Fico had an ace. Olimp from Permitter had an ace. Lonks, Roy, Deha, and Siren. So quite a few so far. But uh, this is... I think the expected scenario here. But I think if you reflect on rounds in isolation and the impact they could have had on the game within the first half, right, even just the pistol round, right? There's so many scenarios here where you go, yeah, all right. Could have been IHC different. IHC had chances, but Liquid were just better. 2v4 without the kit. Oh, no. More kills for Liquid without having to see their adversary. That's twice, in fact. Those two last deaths for score. He hasn't played the game, and neither would... Oh! oh! The whole team! What a finale! That's one hell of a way to finish. We got another one for the list, Chad. Uh, add Naf's name to that <laughs> one. Laundry list of aces right here, right now, and Liquid. That's a stylish way to get things done. Map one, Inferno. The choice of IHC, they were pushed, they were pressed, they were 9-1 down, but the series is going to feel good. Another 2-0 in day one of the groups. 24. Maybe some smiles on the faces here. 24, beautiful.